I want to explain in very plain language what the goal of the Markey Amendment is. The goal of the Markey Amendment is the same goal that uh, President Kennedy had in 1961 when he told Khrushchev, with Sputnik delivering a message of technological security, security from, the, from, the, uh, 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 from the sky to the United States on a daily basis, that we were going to put a man on the moon in eight years and return him safely to the United States, um, and that we were not going to allow the Soviet Union to control the national security agenda of the planet. The, per the point of the Markey Amendment is um, that we are not going to tie the hands of the EPA to look at the ways in which we can improve the fuel efficiency of the vehicles which we drive, of the planes in, within which we fly, uh, to uh, look at the uh, boats that people um, use in our country, um, so that we are looking at every single way in which trains, planes, automobiles, trucks, ships in our country consume oil, and that we are going to invent our way. We are going to develop technologies that will make it possible for America to be more efficient, to work smarter and not harder in the consumption of energy by improving the technologies and the way in which they consume oil, and to tell OPEC that within the next 15 or 20 years, we are going to back out all of the oil which we consume uh, right now that is imported from OPEC. And we're going to tell them we don't need their oil any more than we need their sand. That is the point of this amendment. Okay? That's it, plain and simple. There's not, it's not more complicated than that, that we're going to invent our way out of this in the same way that President Kennedy said we're going to invent our way to superiority over the Soviet Union in eight years. We're going to do the same thing here. That's what this debate is all about. Now, if you believe that, uh, that uh, we can't do it, if you believe that our country is incapable of increasing from 25 to 35 miles per gallon this, the uh, auto efficiency uh, in our country, then fine, vote no. If you believe that we cannot go from 35 to 45 miles per gallon uh, over the next 20 years, fine, vote no. If you think that it's too big of an imposition on America to be able to invent those new technologies, vote no. If you think the same is true for the way in which planes and ships and trains consume oil, you vote no. If you think America can't do it, vote no. If you think that this technological giant, which is the United States of America, can't respond to the challenge of OPEC, of Al Qaeda, you vote no. But just understand, in voting no, you are providing the funding for our enemies in the Middle East. You are providing the funding for those countries in the Middle East that without the United States would not be able to sell those five million barrels of oil to us. Just understand what the vote is about. I'll tell you what it's all about, quite simply. This is the national security issue. Yeah, they debate this issue in the Foreign Relations Committee. They debate this issue in the Armed Services Committee. We're the committee that sends the message to OPEC. We're the committee that makes them toss and turn at night as to whether or not we are going to put together a technological plan that basically breaks our dependence upon that imported oil from OPEC and exports that technology to countries all around the planet that will break their dependence upon imported oil and in turn break the back of OPEC and break the back of Al Qaeda. That's what this debate is all about, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to color it uh, in any other way, you be my guest. But I'll tell you what the intent of the Markey Amendment is. He's sick and tired for 36 years on this committee from the first oil spike through today of somehow or other not connecting it to every recession that we've had from 1973 to today. There's been an oil spike every single time for every recession. And every time a price of a barrel of oil goes up $10 a barrel, two to, uh, uh, two to three uh, tenths of a percent is then taken off of our GDP for that year. Every single time an oil spike is tied to the recession. And what is that recession tied to? It's tied to something that happens with OPEC. So if you want to pretend that there is no connection, you can vote no. But if you want to begin to control our economic, our, our uh, trade deficit, and most importantly, our national security, you vote yes on this amendment. Because it's going to challenge America to respond in the same way President Kennedy asked our country to respond 
in the 1960s to the Soviet Union and their threat to our national security. And that's all this is about. And I believe in America and I believe in our technological genius and our people's ability once they uh, receive a signal to be able to accomplish this goal. It's as simple as that.